They're on to me, dude. Those guys are sharp as nails up there. You can't put anything past them. Oh my god, dude, I'm freaking out. I am so stressed out. I feel like I'm having a panic attack. You wanna talk about stress? You wanna talk about stress? Okay? I've stumbled onto a major company conspiracy, Mac. How about that for stress? What the hell are you talking about? This company is being bled like a stuck pig, Mac, and I got a paper trail to prove it. Check this out. Take a look at this. Jesus Christ, Charlie. That right there is the mail. Now, let's talk about the mail. Can we talk about the mail, please, Mac? I'm dying to talk about the mail with you all day, okay? Pepe Sylvia, this name keeps coming up over and over again. Every day, Pepe's mail's getting sent back to me. Pepe Sylvia, Pepe Sylvia. I look in the mail, with well, this whole box is Pepe Sylvia! So I say to myself, I gotta find this guy. I gotta go up to his office. I gotta put his mail in the guy's goddamn hands. Otherwise, he's never gonna get it. He's gonna keep coming back down here. So I go up to Pepe's office, and what do I find out, Mac? What do I find out? There is no Pepe Sylvia. The man does not exist, okay? So I decided, oh shit, buddy, I gotta dig a little deeper. There's no Pepe Sylvia, you gotta be kidding me! I got boxes full of Pepe! All right, so I start marching my way down to Carol and HR, and I knock on her door and I say, Carol! Carol, I gotta talk to you about Pepe! And when I open the door, what do I find? There's not a single goddamn desk in that office. There is no Carol in HR. Matt, half the employees in this building have been made up. This office is a goddamn ghost town. Okay, Charlie, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. Not only do all of these people exist, but they have been asking for their mail on a daily basis. It's all they're talking about up there. Jesus Christ, dude, we are gonna lose our jobs. Well, calm down, because here's one thing that's not gonna happen. What? We're not gonna get fired, because we've already been fired. We've lost our jobs? Yeah. If we've lost our jobs, that means we've lost our health insurance, which means all of this was for nothing. God damn it, dude, I'm having a panic attack. I'm actually having a panic attack. Well, will you attack. settle down and have another cup of coffee? I am, bro. All right, well, fine. You know what, Barney? Give this guy a cigarette. He's freaking out. Huh? Who? Barney. He's the guy who tipped me off to Pepe Sylvia. Barney? Who the hell is Barney? You don't see Barney. Oh, shit. What the hell did he? You've lost your mind. You've lost your goddamn mind, Charlie.